everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to this month's interactive read aloud. Today, I am very excited to introduce the new story in My Storybook's Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month read aloud lineup, where every weekday this May, I am sharing a new interactive read aloud featuring a book with Asian characters or that was created by Asian illustrators or authors. This is my way of helping to share Asian voices and Asian stories with all of you. Now, my friends, there are so many incredible books in this month's read aloud lineup. So if you're curious to see what we've already read or what we're going to be reading next, please check out the full read aloud lineup on my blog, My Storybook, by clicking on that link down below in the description. Or you can find the playlist Asian American Pacific Heritage Month read alouds on My Storybook YouTube to keep up with all of our reading adventures. Well, for today's interactive read aloud, we have a very special book, one of my new favorites because this book was written and illustrated by two Vietnamese creators and is about a little boy in Vietnam and his very first day of school. Now this is special to me because I am half Vietnamese and I'm always looking for books that show Vietnam and this is a really special one because it actually takes place in Vietnam on the Mekong Delta. Now I'm also wearing my Ao Yai, which is a traditional Vietnamese dress and this one is gold, has some sparkles here. And you're gonna see at the end of the story that there also are some other women wearing eyes in the book as well. Now, I mentioned that this book takes place on the Mekong Delta, which is a very famous river in Vietnam. And I'm gonna share with you a few facts about the Mekong Delta before we get started. And I'm gonna open up a book because in the back, the authors share some fun facts about the Mekong Delta. So first though, the authors had created this story because they wanted to share something that many children go to school and have a first day of school. And they wanted to share how people who live on the Mekong Delta also make their way to school. They don't use a road or or a dirt path or a street or anything, they have the river, the delta that they use their little boats to sail on. Now, the Mekong Delta is actually the world's 12th longest river. It runs for 2,700 miles. That is very, very long. And people in the area call the Mekong the mother of rivers. There are nine mouths of the river, so it opens up in nine different places. And these are often called the nine dragons, where it has those nine places it opens up. And the flood season of the Mekong River is between August and November. And the Mekong River is used for irrigation, to help water plants, for fishing, all of those things. What's also really cool is that the Mekong River has one of the world's most diverse collections of flora and fauna, meaning that it has so many different animals and plants around there that it is so diverse with all those different wildlife and nature that you can see there. There's so many amazing creatures, including giant freshwater stingray, giant catfish, and Irrawaddy dolphins. But the thing is, today we also need to protect the river from overuse because it could put resources in the river at risk. Those are some fun facts about the Mekong Delta. It's, it's a beautiful river area full of nature and water and animals. It's a beautiful place if you ever get a chance to visit in Vietnam. I got to visit it and it is gorgeous. And this book, my friends, has the most incredible illustrations that are going to show you just how beautiful the Mekong Delta River really is. All right. Well, double thumbs up if you're ready to get started. Let's begin. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is My First Day, written by Fung Wing Quang and illustrated by Huynh Kim Lee. Now, my friends, the author and illustrator also both live in Saigon in Vietnam. And this book was published by Random House Children's Books. So thank you to them for letting us share this reading aloud together. And let's take a look at the cover here because it is beautiful. What do you notice about this My First Day book cover? Right, I see water, right? It looks like waves actually. And oh, there's this little boy on this boat launching off, off the wave. I see some beautiful plants down here. It looks like lotus flowers, lily pad plants, right? Beautiful clouds, blue sky, water. And oh my, this looks pretty fun. Okay, well this book about a little boy and how he gets to school. How do you get to school, my friends? Do you drive a car, ride your bike, walk? How do you get to school? Yeah, when I went to school, I would usually drive, sometimes carpool, go in a car. All right, well, let's get started. So here's our title page, has the title of our book, My First Day, has our author and illustrator, our, our publisher, Random House Kids, 
who helped create this book and is letting us read it together today. And if I take a look here, I can already see that part of the story is getting started. What do you notice about our little friend? <coughs> Looks like he's getting his boat ready. His foot is in the water. Oh, over here I see his backpack, his supplies. And what do you notice about where he lives? Right, it looks like he lives right on the water. He has this little house made out of wood, it seems. I can see some barrels here with water. And it looks like he's wearing, maybe this is a uniform he has to wear to school. Well, my friends, what do you bring to school when you go to school? Maybe also backpacks and books, pens and pencils. There we go. He's off on his journey. And do you see him? Right here in the corner. And look at all of this water. Where the great river, Mother Macon, tumbles into the endless sea. That is where I live. So he lives right at the opening where the Mekong Delta goes into the sea. I wake up with the sun creeping into the sky and wait for a tide and time to bring to me my little open boat. Today is the first day. Oh, wow, my friends. And here he goes. What do you notice as he is rowing his boat? What do you notice all around him? Looks like these are a bunch of other houses. So, so there's a lot of houses that live on the river, it seems like. They live right on the water. This is the first time I've made this trip on my own. Weaving through floodwaters and forests, Mama said I'm big enough now to go by myself. Papa said to be careful because that's what Papas do. I paddle out into the floodwaters past yesterday's and all the things I didn't know. There he is paddling. Our friends, if you walk to school, have you ever walked to school by yourself or maybe gone to school by yourself? If school's close enough, maybe you can go on your own. Just be careful, right? Oh, I set out upon the waves and begin my adventure. Oh my friends, well, what do you notice about this picture? Aren't the illustrations just gorgeous? <laughs> Look at those waves and I notice how the clouds and the waves, they both like curve towards the middle. So it looks like he's zooming into the middle onto this adventure, right? Oh my goodness. Well, let's see. It does look like it. Does it look like a smooth ride or maybe a little rocky? Maybe a little rocky, but look how he's standing like he's ready for an adventure. This reminds me of the cover of the book, right? <gasps> The river swells, the water stretches as far as forever in front of me. There is still a world to learn. There's a whole world to discover out there. Oh, and what's going on with the weather here? It's starting to rain and I see some plants. Look at these plants. Look how big these leaves and flowers are. What is he doing here? Pouring out some water. As the skies grow dark with rain, the rough waters bring me to the opening of the mangrove forest. So mangrove forest is like a forest that grows near a river and the river runs through that forest. There's the mangrove forest. It's different when you're alone in the unfamiliar hallways of the forest. I hear the chatter of a classroom full of animals as I move by. So you know how he's going to school. It's cool how they're talking about school things as he's journeying through nature. So the hallway of the forest and the chatter of the classroom of animals. What animals do you see so far? Just one, just this bird here. But look at those green plants, all that nature. The mangroves hide a thousand eyes, all looking at me. So how do you think this little boy is maybe feeling about going to school? He might be feeling a little bit nervous, right? I'm getting the feeling that he's feeling a little nervous. He thinks all these eyes are staring at him. Maybe he might worry that all the eyes are going to stare at him, all these kids in class, right? Oh, what animal is this? That looks like a giant alligator. When you don't know a place, it can be scary. Do you agree, my friends? If you go to somewhere new, how do you feel when you go to a new place? It can be a little scary, right, to go someplace you've never gone before or to go to someplace for the first time by yourself. It is a little scary. So I'm thinking he's a little scared probably to be on his own going to school, but also maybe a little scared going to 
his new first day of school. And if I look at the colors on this page, it also gives me the feeling of a little creepiness, right? Like this dark greens. The jungle calls your name, asks you to be brave. Still, fear slithers in like a python, like a snake. And oh my goodness, I see all these big green tendrils here, my friends. It looks like mist, but it looks like, ah, they're going to get after the boy. And how is he feeling? He's like, ah, I'm going to get out of here, right? Paddle fast, paddle fast. Hmm. So even though he's brave, he's going by himself, he's going to be brave and go. He's still a little scared though, right? You can be brave and still feel afraid, right, my friends? Oh my goodness. Wow. So he's out of the mangrove forest and it looks like we are looking at him from above. So we're in the sky looking down at him. And what do you notice under the water, under his boat? Look at all of those fish. This is a gigantic creature. This one, whatever this is. Oh my. Look at that. Oh, there's its head. What do you think this is? Like a sea serpent. But what you know can make a difference. Turn the unfamiliar into family. I get to trace the edges of my path. Do it for myself. Write my name across the blackboard of the river. The blackboard, like a blackboard at school. So he says, what you know can make a difference though. So if you're not sure about something, if you're unfamiliar, then get to know it. Make it something you're familiar with. Here, this is him going to school on his own for the very first time, but he's going to make it his own pathway, his own adventure, something that he understands and recognizes and can feel more comfortable with. <gasps> and oh my goodness, now we're looking kind of up from below, up at the sky. What do you notice about the sky? and the colors. Beautiful clouds of pink birds flying. The sky is a crayon box full of colors for me to take flight. Grow my own wings, a dance of storks in new worlds. How's the boy feeling now? Not so scared anymore, more like hopeful, right? Like almost full of excitement. The sky is a crayon box full of colors ready for me to discover new worlds and birds are flying high in the air. I'm gonna go fly high on my new first day of school. Schools of fish glint beneath the way. And now my friends, I like how in this book we are seeing these pictures from so many different points of view. Now it's like we're underwater looking up at him from underwater and look at all of these creatures underwater. What do you see? What do you notice? all those incredible fish, so many different fish and colors, right? Remember we said that the Mekong Delta has so many different animals and plants. And look at these animals, what animals do we have now? Water buffalo, even water buffalo, the lumpy near the shore, finally the shore, oh, it's getting close to shore. Hello, they're welcome. Oh. So now there's people shouting, welcome. The water buffaloes are saying, welcome, come on in. So now the little boy's feeling like, oh, see, so it's new, but there are people welcoming me in to this new day of school, this new adventure. I think he's feeling a little bit better about going to school. Hello, buffalo. So say hello to your new friends. When you go to a new first day of school, you say hello, you greet each other. Oh, how cute, my friends. Who are these people? Hello, friends. Just like he greeted the buffalo, now he's greeting his real friends too. Hello, friends. And look, how are they getting to school? They also are taking a boat, using a boat to get to school. Oh, there's a water buffalo. And it looks like they are wearing a uniform, right? They all have a white shirt. Some of them have the red bow ties, some black pants or skirts. My friends, what do you wear to school? Do you wear a uniform or do you pick your own outfit? Yeah. And how does he feel about seeing his friends? <laughs> so happy, right? Hello, first day of school. My journey ends. Well, his journey to school just ends, but his journey starting his first day of school is just beginning, right? And oh, look at this woman is wearing an ao yai, right? The traditional Vietnamese dress. Mine is a short sleeve one. She has a long sleeve one. And over here, this looks like the school. It says Trung Tiu Hao. So that means primary school, elementary school, Song Nam, 
so he, that must be the name of the school, primary school. And look, they put their boats right here on the shore and then they walk up to go to class. There's still the water buffalo there hanging out with them as they get off their boat to go to school. And look at how he's standing. How do you think he feels when he stands like that? That makes me think that he feels like what? Confident, right? That's like a way you stand if you're confident and you're brave and you're ready to start a new day, start the new school day, start the new school year, right? My friends, can you try that? It's kind of like a power pose where you stand up, you put your hands on your hips with your shoulders back, legs apart, and you stand like you are ready to go. He is ready for his first day of school. And my friends, if you're listening to this and it's almost your first day of school, I hope that you also feel brave just like this little boy, maybe a little scared and nervous too, because that's okay to be scared and nervous and brave at the same time. But remember, you have so many friends there to welcome you to the new school day. The end. Here's pictures of the Mekong Delta and all the nine dragons, the nine openings it has, and some details that I read to you about the Mekong Delta. Okay, my friends, don't you agree? This book had beautiful pictures. If you want to go back and rewind and look at some of those pictures again, I would definitely do that. So much fun. I really love how we got to see the Mekong Delta from up above, looking down from under the water, looking up at the sky. Wow, my friends, what did you really love about this story? Yes, so many cool parts, right? The water buffalo, that alligator, that sea serpent. What I also really love is how this gave us like a little sneak peek into what the Mekong Delta looks like, how people there get to school, how they travel, what their houses look like, what they wear. A great way to get a little sneak peek into what life is like somewhere else in the world, in this case, in Vietnam. All right, friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed this read aloud. It is such a special one and a beautiful one. If you enjoyed this reading adventure, please be sure to subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel by clicking on that subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. That way you can keep up with all of our reading adventures. And we have so many more for this month of May. I'm so happy that you're here to join me for Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month and can't wait to share more Asian stories with you. Okay, friends, well, if you want to share with me about your own first day adventures or your moments of bravery, then please reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook, email, YouTube, on the blog. All the social media links can be found down below. I love hearing from all of you. Otherwise, my friends, that brings us to the end of today's interactive read aloud. I hope I see you next time for our next reading adventure. But until then, happy reading. Mm -hmm.